Good evening. Welcome once again to New Music Up Late here on ABC Classic FM on uh, digital and online. I'm Julian Day and it's great to have your company. Also tonight we're heading into some darker, more abject territory with a sound artist who runs his own institution of rot. That should give you a bit of a sense of where he's on as an artist. Um, his name is Richard Crow, an English sound artist who's coming out to Australia as part of the totally huge new music festival in Perth. And tonight we're featuring excerpts from a work in which he basically presents us with an imaginary hospital full of unusual and somewhat grotesque medical sounds, descriptions of medical operations, uh, as well as the kind of annoying kitsch hospital music that you sometimes get when lying in bed. I know I'm not painting a very pleasant picture of this work. It really is a fascinating sound art journey. That's a bit later. Uh, Imaginary Hospital Radio by Richard Crow. ABC Classic FM. New music up late. It's time now to uh, take a take a few tentative steps into an imaginary hospital. If you've ever had the misfortune to have to spend a bit of time in hospitals, then I'm sure you're well aware of the at times unusual ambience, uh, the sonic ambience to be more precise. Depending on the nature of your stay, you may have heard sounds that were a little unusual, a little alarming, perhaps downright unpleasant. Well, UK sound artist Richard Crow is a man who never shies away from uh, the less uh, appealing aspects of life. In fact, I think he'd happily dis uh, describe himself as a, an artist of the abject. Uh, his work is currently here in Australia as part of an exhibition at the Fremantle Art Centre called Come Hither Noise. It's a collection of sound works, which is up between now and uh, late September, just in time for the totally huge New Music Festival. And uh, one of the works is this piece by Richard Crow. It's called Imaginary Hospital Radio. And it's a kind of, uh, well, it, it ruminates on the idea of the hospital radio. Uh, one part uh, medical procedures, one part bodily noises, and one part the sort of kitsch music that often piped through hospitals to make, uh, make you feel like you're calmer and more at home. Well, we, uh, we're going to play you a few pieces from this work tonight. Uh, a little later tonight, uh, one of the longer 
uh, parts of the composition. There's actually eight sections, and we'll hear an adhesive band, which uh, sums it up nicely, really. Um, what we're going to hear now as part of the composition is the sounds of peristalsis. This is the work of Richard Crow from An Imaginary Hospital Radio.
Gas maneuver flashes the retained gas and liquid against the wall of the descended stomach. The resultant sound is called a suppression splash and is frequently found with pyloric obstruction. <laughs> Examples of abnormal peristalsis recorded on patient with organic bowel lesions. The first sounds are those of an elderly female with pyloric obstruction due to chronic duodenal ulcer disease. On physical examination, waves of peristalsis were observed through the upper abdominal wall as the stomach tried to force gas and liquid through the obstructed pylorus. These noises are probably caused by gas and liquid being forced beyond the constricted pylorus into the duodenum. Note the high-pitched, almost musical quality of the sounds following the initial loud burst of peristalsis. <laughs> to hear a very prominent peristaltic wave. elicited in this patient by blotting the distended stomach. The examiner accomplished this by placing his hands in front of and behind the stomach and forcefully shaking the patient's abdomen. This maneuver splashes the retained gas and liquid against the wall of the distended stomach. The resultant sound is called a succussion splash and is frequently found with pyloric obstruction. The next patient, who is a 50-year-old female, was found at operation to have an adhesive band causing obstruction in the ileum. The first sounds you hear represent a high-pitched burst of peristalsis occurring in a loop of intestine near the stethoscope. Typical high pitched rush follows.
One can visualize the extreme tension of the gut wall giving rise to these sounds. <laughs> it's the kind of work which sounds like it ought to have a language warning, but uh, perhaps medical themes ahead would be more appropriate. I uh, just hope you didn't do uh, uh, follow my example and um, audition this earlier whilst uh, hoeing into a, a giant um, plate of nachos. Uh, it wasn't a pleasant sight. That's uh, just part of Imaginary Hospital Radio. It's a sound work by Richard Crow, who's a UK sound artist. It's currently um, featuring at the Fremantle Arts Centre as part of an exhibition called Come Hither Noise. It's a minute past midnight. New music up late on ABC Classic FM. Well, one final piece tonight, and we're returning to the somewhat abject world of the imaginary hospital as posited by Richard Crow. Crow, as we talked about earlier, is a UK sound artist, um, an institute uh, of rot he has back at home in the UK. His work can be heard at the moment at the Fremantle Arts Centre in WA as part of an exhibition called Come Hither Noise. And uh, it will be featured there until the 20th of September. And uh, we're going to hear one final work from this collection of pieces, Imaginary Hospital Radio. This is an adhesive band, medical themes ahead. Thank you. 
unsettling and surreal environment indeed. It's an adhesive band, one of eight movements from this work, uh, Imaginary Hospital Radio by UK artist Richard Crowe. You can in fact catch this if you're in WA, if you're anywhere near Fremantle. It's uh, being shown or heard, if you like, at uh, Fremantle Arts Centre through until the 20th of September, which of course overlaps with the totally huge new music festival, uh, which you can find out more of at the Tura website, tura.com.au. And this wraps up another new music up late here on ABC Classic FM. Big thanks, as always, to co-producer Stephen Adams. Just a quick reminder that uh, next week... We have a very special live event for you in Brisbane, and it's something you can come along to. It's the Splinter Orchestra. 30-odd musicians, they're not odd individually, but 30-odd of them, uh, performing at the Eugene Goosen's uh, Hall here at the ABC building in Ultimo, Sydney, just near Broadway. If you come and grab a seat at about quarter past ten in the evening, we'll be going live to air at half past ten, and uh, I promise you it shall be a very magical experience. Uh, this large improvising ensemble performing live for us and, of course, heard live on air if you can't make it, ABC Classic FM. Uh, Also, tonight's program can be heard for up to a month on our website, which is abc.net.au slash classic slash new music. You can also hear all of the past month's programs uh, at the same site, including our new Friday night version of the show, which you can hear on digital radio and online. Uh, what, what else can I tell you about leading up to half past twelve? I think you should have a good night. Here's uh, the dying strains of Imaginary Radio Hospital by Richard Crow. See you later. <laughs>